Hi guys, Tom here. Make sure you hit that little bell down there to get notifications of our future awesome videos coming up. Uh, we have a summer series of videos coming up for our distance learning uh, student program. If you're interested in that, it starts out as low as 10 bucks a month. There's a link down there to check that out. And thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your views. Um, it's been incredible how, how helpful it's been to keep our dojo alive here in Massachusetts. Um, today's lesson is going to be, again, about the feet. And this is one of those questions that people are afraid to ask because it feels silly. This is also uh, one of those questions I like to answer because I get to look like, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. How come I didn't know that? But that's fine. Usually students in one of our dojos, and we have dojos everywhere, um, they're usually overwhelmed with information and technique and, 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 and it's like a musician being taught a whole song, but they forget the first three notes just to kind of get going. Well, this is the same type of situation. And the question usually is, Sensei, which foot goes forward first? And they try and memorize. You know, okay, this wazer, it's a left foot, this wazer. I've seen people take notes. Okay, left foot for this one. You don't need the notes. I give you a very simple solution, a very simple formula to figure it out. I have my white oak bulk in here because I don't have my white top on, so I want you to be able to see the handle better. Um, so here's the answer to your question. If you're stepping forward, your right foot goes out first. If you're stepping backwards, your left foot goes back first. The reason is, if you do the correct foot movement, the sword will be pointing at your potential enemy, your area of interest, I call it. If I step forward with my right foot going forward, well, you can see that, there it is. It's pointing right at my area of interest, which could be potentially an enemy in front of me. If I step backwards and use my left foot first, the same thing happens. And I'm exaggerating here a little bit just so you can see the movement, but nevertheless, that's what happens. If I do the incorrect foot, and this is something you can try just standing there watching this video, you don't need high ceilings for this exercise. If my left foot goes forward first, my hips bring my sword handle pointing that way. Well, if my area of interest, and for most beginners, it's in front of you, then that means I have to do a second movement to get the sword in front of my enemy. Same thing going backwards. You notice my sword is now pointing that way, where I want it to point that way. So I'm going to step my left foot backwards. There it is. Very easy to do. Now, there are some advanced concepts in these arts where you do things like this on purpose because you may want to change your area of intent without your enemy knowing it. And yes, these are advanced concepts. But for the beginner, that's all you got to do to remember it. Is see where you handle. Let your handle show you the way. And that'll help and that'll give you less stress in the dojo when you have a whole bunch of people with you and you're the only guy with the wrong foot forward. Now you will never be that guy. Thanks again. Hope this helps. Hit the bell. Get some more videos. And thank you so much.